Uh, Borderlands 2, one of the best games known to man. Well, in my opinion anyway. I have played this game for roughly a couple thousand hours, but in all of my time playing, I haven't challenged myself. So that is what I am doing today. I am doing what is known as an allegiance run with the manufacturer Torg. The rules are simple, I can only use Torg items and no badass rank. Yep, that's pretty much it. And for my character, I decided to play as Axton. But you know, I feel like something is missing. You know, like I've been playing this game for a while, so I wanted something fresh, something different, something like a mod. That's right. I added the Exodus mod. This mod adds a crap ton of new items, enemies, and different balances to the game. So you know, this will be a little bit interesting, and it will be nice to have a fresh start. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's just get into it. So of course, I don't start with any Torg weapons. So you know, I had to rely on my axe. Stin, uh, yeah, uh, he has an axe. I know, that's just a bad joke. Seriously though, I had to melee my way through the beginning. It really wasn't that hard, especially when the mod buffed Axon's melee damage, I think. Which means I easily dismembered Knuckledragger and his minions, and then I made my way to Liarsburg, which just so happened to be taken over by bandits, which of course I easily cut up with little to no problem. But there was so much freaking blood, so many bodies. But that means Liarsburg was finally saved. Which means I am now able to get my first weapon. Thank God, because I don't want to melee this whole damn run. I don't need to melee this whole damn run. I'd probably die a lot. So, you know, with my new gun, I killed a lot, mainly during little side missions, and, you know, I wanted to level up, of course. And with the completion of these side missions, I got a beautiful Torg shotgun. Actually, it's not really a good one. Yeah, that's, that's very sad. But then I also got my action skill, my awesome turret. This thing will hopefully help out a lot since, you know, I am not able to get a Torg shield until I get to Sanctuary. This is pretty much the biggest challenge so far. But I'm fine. It's fine. I'm sure of it. Wait, why did I say that? Because it's not gonna be fine. I needed the shield. Oh, this is this is bad. The turret didn't help, my guns didn't help, and my extreme avoidance of any human contact did not help. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I did end up killing Mijmong, the first mini boss. well, uh, after I died to him. Man, having no shield sucks. Like, actually, like I started going towards Captain Flint and died again. My god. Either I am just bad, which that's probably true, or enemies are just strong, and I don't think they're strong. I don't freaking know. But I got through that, and I slaughtered tons of people in the process. Yeah, surprisingly, with smart maneuvers, I made my way to Captain Flint with no more death. Until I died again, a sweet, fiery death to Flint, yeah. But he's dead now, so it is time to finally head out, out of this godforsaken place. Yeah, nothing else interesting happened along the way, other than maybe a few dead bodies and some sick drifts with my car. But then, I finally made it to Sanctuary. But this allowed me to get two essential items. First of course is my shield. Survivability has finally improved. And with that, I also got my class mod. And in the Exodus mod, it does improve class mods quite a bit and makes it easier to do allegiance runs with most characters. And in my opinion, looking at all the stats on this class mod, it does look pretty sick. But with my new items, I still ended up dying while doing just a few side missions. Yeah, Assassin Oni, he isn't the most ideal guy to fight. Yeah, he resists explosives, so that's that's cool. But it's fine. I still killed all the assassins and even some other people. All of this happened all before I went to Frostburn Canyon. Now this is where I just had to do a little bit of research because I found that there is this relic added with the mod. It's like absolutely amazing for my build yet it drops from the god Lyoth. And to get a god Lyoth, I have to let it kill a crap ton of things. Just a crap ton, until it levels up to be a god Lyoth. Now, I ain't gonna farm it right now, but I did get a god Lyoth. It didn't drop the relic, so that is a big rip. But whatever, I met up with the Firehawk, AKA Lilith, the bandit torching god. Yeah, I, uh, I saved her even though she is quote unquote, the most powerful siren in all of Pandora. 
who is probably way more capable of killing bandits than I am. But you know what? Sure, sure. Me and my turret will just do most of the work while you can just sit in the corner and be pathetic like you always are. Thanks for that. Like she barely even helped me get into the bloodshot stronghold. She like tried teleporting me, but it was just pathetic. I had to go to this like dusty area and this freaking big old wrecking ball had to help me get a damn bandit car so that I could just honk my horn and get into their damn fortress. Yeah, I uh, killed those guys too. But I did finally get my merp grenades. They explode, they turn into a bunch of baby grenades. That's pretty much it. And then I finally also made my way throughout the stronghold with ease and killed every bandit I saw. I may have died once or twice, but it's fine because I killed people and I think I enjoyed it. Maybe a little too much. I'm probably classified as like a psychopath right now, but I'm sure it's fine because I just I just needed to kill to get to my boy Roland. I will not let this man die on my watch. No, sir. Yeah, that's a, just a little bit of foreshadowing there for you. Yeah, and for some reason, when I walk up to Roland's jail cell, Handsome Jack kidnaps him. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, probably because Roland is some sort of criminal in Jack's eyes for some dumb reason. I don't know. I still saved him though. Killed a big old robot and everything because, you know, I like destroying robots. Tons, tons of freaking robots. Yeah, so that made Jack mad. So, you know, why not rob one of his trains? He'll definitely not hate me. Maybe. Uh, it'll probably make it a little bit worse when he finds out that I had a 13 year old help me. But anyway, I had to kill some bandits like normal, just surviving, taking it easy. I even found this little valve that I could spin. It called in like reinforcements or something. Yeah, that was a mistake. I died. But then Wilhelm died because, you know, I exploded the train, found Wilhelm and took his life. Yeah, it definitely wasn't staged. 120% it wasn't. I'm sure Jack isn't that smart. So, you know, I, would, I guess I'll just go to Sanctuary, uh, give them my power core that I just got and everything will be good oh crap oh jesus oh christ oh why did i say that oh sanctuary is under attack angel works for jack and now jack is smart wait did that all rhyme whatever sanctuary is now a floating city because i helped scooter and now lilith used her stupid siren magic to throw it up into the sky yeah i don't know how the hell i'm supposed to get back there but I do know that I killed, slaughtered, and dismantled tons of freaking robots protecting this damn beacon, so that was kind of cool. But I returned to Sanctuary to do tons of freaking side missions, cause I can. Yeah, I killed tons of animals, uh, tons of robots, and tons of bandits, and you know, all that fun stuff. And of course I got levels on levels on levels on, okay, I need to stop, so that I can be ready for the wildlife exploitation preserve. I also got some better gear, cause I need that too. And the preserve wasn't really that hard. I killed like a crap ton of animals to be expected. So yeah, PETA, screw off. These animals deserved it. Also, all the robots I killed, they deserved it too. So yeah, the only thing that didn't deserve it was Bloodwing. This poor, poor majestic creature died. Oh well, now I got an upgrade thing and I'm just gonna bring to Claptrap. And that brings me to Brick. He is a strong boy. But I have only met him after, you know, I slaughtered his crew, or more bandits basically. I even killed a godlyth, which did not drop me the damn relic I wanted. And the thing about these bandits is Brick didn't even care. The only thing he cares about is his damn dogs. But don't kill any of his dogs, he might come after you. But other than the mortar assault by Jack, Brick had me do a few other things in Lynchwood before heading to the town of Opportunity. Hell, I even killed Jack's girlfriend. See, that's what happens when you hurt one of Brick's dogs, I'm just saying. And Jack, I'm really not sorry, but if I can't have one, then you can't have one. Yeah, Jack, Jack isn't happy about that, cause I ended up dying a very, very sad death. Anywho, I continued my plan to destroy Jack's bunker by going to the town of Opportunity. The robots, engineers, and more robots could not stop me and my explosions. Yeah, that was fun, I guess. I don't, I don't really care. Whatever, now it's time to go to the bunker. Cool. And the climb to the bunker was honestly everything but exhausting. I climbed, killed, climbed some more, looted, killed, climbed, and killed even more. But the bunker was the last obstacle. 
Yeah, the fight was kinda lame. I had nothing that killed it fast. It was very sad. Then I died, uh, which made it sadder. Hell, Angel freaking died. And then the freaking idiot Roland forgot his shield and died as well. I'm sorry, Roland. I couldn't do anything to protect that. That's your own damn fault. But why are so many people dying? Like, all of these animals, people, and robots. Like, no one told me this planet was gonna be violent. Speaking of violent planets, I killed Saturn. Well, of course I did things before I got to Saturn, but the Saturn boss fight was pretty easy, and all that was left to do after this was head towards the vault. Me and Brick tore through the loaders, for most of the time anyway, but then I was finally face to face with Handsome Jack. He wanted revenge for his daughter. So then I fought Jack, I defeated Jack, he summoned the warrior, I fought the warrior, I defeated the warrior, I called the moonshot cannon, and then I exploded the warrior. I murdered Jack, tickled the vault key, and then I just got some upgrades. I had to defeat the warrior again, but now I'm ready for true Volunteer mode. So true Ball Hunter mode is just a little bit different than normal Ball Hunter mode. The scaling and leveling and all that crap make it just a tiny bit more challenging. So I ended up learning down the line that it was a constant of updating of gear. Yeah, I struggled way more than I should have. So the first thing I did was go farm for a few items. This was simple because it wasn't too far out of the way of the story. So I visited my good friend Midgemong once again and killed him over and over just to get this crappy curve blaster. I eventually got rid of it quite fast, but whatever, it still shredded for the time I had it. Then before I went after Captain Flint, I killed Boom Boom to get a bonus package. It's one of the few legendary tour grenades in the base game. Then after that and a bunch of running and killing, I made my way past Captain Flint and farmed for the Unkempt Herald, which I actually never used, but I got it, so that's something. And then with these three legendaries, I might as well try for something else. That one relic I talked about earlier, except I failed miserably trying to get a god life in the damn Frostburn Canyon. I died a lot, the Goliath died a lot, you know, it was just so many deaths, maybe too many. So after that, I just went and met up with Lilith. I saved her butt and I pushed through the story. I thought I was high enough level for all that crap, and then I just went, saved Roland from his Piran jail cell, beat Wilhelm a few times because I struggled to get his loot, and saw Sanctuary teleport away in a purple mist. But this is, uh, this is where I made my first mistake. Like, my gear was so underpowered. I struggled so much at protecting the damn beacon on my way to get back to Sanctuary. So many downs. So freaking many deaths. This is where I realized my mistake. I need new gear. So I struggled a lot more than I should have. And after all of Jack saying that I suck, I got back to Sanctuary, and I finally got me some new gear. And to test this gear, I went to get some good freaking levels, mainly doing side missions of course. I didn't want to go into the wildlife preservation thingy severely under leveled, so you know, I kind of had no choice but to get that glorious XP. Which brings me to the preserve. I decided to farm the loot midgets a bit and got deadly crap. Yeah, oh well. I got XP though, so that's something. Then I died, and then I killed some people for revenge, and then Bloodwing died again. So to avoid dying like that damn bird, I got some more better gear and headed towards Thousand Cuts to meet Brick once again. I worked so hard to get a Godliath. I reset my game so many freaking times, and I downed so many freaking times, but I got it. I got the relic I was so wanting for the rest of my life, the Blitzkrieg. The reason I wanted this relic is because the Blitzkrieg increases the explosive damage dealt drastically, and with each kill for a short period of time, it gives another boost to explosive damage, approximately about 3%, and then this also stacks the extra damage boost, so this is the best possible relic to have for my build, as far as I'm aware. And with this new power, I swiftly made my way through opportunity and towards the way of the bunker. I thought that the bunker was gonna be 
easier than the last time. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, dead wrong. I struggled even more to the damn bunker than I have ever before. Hell, I even died, which made it worse because I had to like, you know, do the whole damn fight all over again. At least I put up a fight, unlike Roland. <laughs> what a damn idiot. But he is just a casualty of war, so it's fine. Wait, am I forgetting somebody? No, I think it's fine. And then that brings me to the final stretch. I could smell or even taste the warrior, but I had to fight off a couple bandits in the Sawtooth Cauldron. Yeah, I uh, kind of messed up. I didn't upgrade my gear, so that was a problem. It was a pretty big struggle. I died it was way too many freaking times. But hey, I got a world drop deadly bloom, which is like some modded shield that I have no idea what it does. But hey, it's something and uh, I am glad to have it, but it is level 50, so I still have a ways to go. But that also means that I got me some new gear because it is time to face the warrior once again. I killed Saturn, got the info, and then finally walked into Hero's Pass. Not a robot stood in my way. The only thing was the warrior. Well, and Jack, but he was nothing. I practically destroyed him with my grenades and the warrior wasn't as cooperative. I didn't die or anything, but it just took a while to defeat the warrior. But you know, after a long while, I did defeat it and the moonshot took the final blow. So I turned around to face Jack. It was me or Lilith who was destined to kill him. And of course, you know, I decided to not let Lilith kill him and I killed him without hesitation and with that true vault hunter mode is complete but before i go into ultimate vault hunter mode i need some gear so there are four things i need first is the kerblaster this will be my main weapon until i can get something a little bit better and surprisingly on the first run i managed to get one and the next two items weren't as bad of a farm either i got the bonus package for my grenade mod then i went to farm an unkempt herald not that i needed it or anything but you know i just wanted it but you know what i did need I needed a new Blitzkrieg. For some reason, mine disappeared. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. It took a long, a long while uh, farming these stupid Goliaths, but I finally got one and I hated every single moment of this damn farm. Now, Ultimate Volunteer Mode is really different. There are tons of resistances, balances, changes, and a bunch of unfair things, like what the mod does to shields and explosives. Yeah, explosives do less shield damage. So to make this game a little bit more fair, I need powerful gear. The key to sustaining this high ground is to open the farms. So that is exactly what I did. I swiftly made my way to Sanctuary, and in that process, I managed to open up the Kerblaster farm, the bonus pack farm and the unkempt herald farm it was super easy but that isn't my key to success here the modded weapons are i think i haven't really used them so you know i just went through the scarlet dlc to open up a farm for later which you know could get me a possible really useful weapon I don't know, like I said, I haven't used it, but I had to kill a robot called Pervy. He is like halfway through the whole DLC, but that is only one piece of the puzzle. I enter the Torg DLC next with a plan. And of course, you know, it should give me tons of Torg items, which could help as well. The goal with this is to beat the whole DLC. Now I need something at the end, but I still have a long ways to go. Actually, not really. The DLCs are kind of short after, you know, playing them quite a few times. What really slowed me down though was the occasional death that I had. Yeah, I am in ultimate volunteer mode, so that does make just a little bit of sense. But it doesn't matter now because Piston is dead. So it's time to enact my plan, but it doesn't work. So. That kind of sucks. I, my whole plan revolved around killing Pyro Pete because I want Seraph Crystals and I can't kill Pyro Pete. Yeah, this is not good. So now I have to come up with a different plan. So I uh, had to go farm a few new weapons for my new plan. Well, first is the Heavy X. It seems pretty decent. And at this point, I can't really tell if it's good or not, but it kills stuff. So that works. And then I got the Exterminator. Y yeah, it's um, 
it's not really the best. But that brings me back to my original plan of killing Pyro Pete. So I returned to normal ball hunter mode to slaughter Pete thousands of times. Well, not really. I only did it enough to get like what Seraph crystals I needed for a Seraph weapon called the Spitfire, which is actually pretty good. It takes some time getting used to, of course, and I don't know if I'm using it right, but it's fine. All I know is that this weapon gets increased damage if you have more increased grenade damage or something like that. I don't know. But to get this weapon, all I have to do is go into the Sir Hammylock DLC and get to the Seraph vendor. Then after that, I fought for Sanctuary in the Fight for Sanctuary DLC, and for some reason, and I thought that would sound cooler in my head, but I guess it didn't. Oh well, not much happened in the DLC as well. I really just did it to unlock the DLC and get some levels, so um, yeah. It's complete now, so that's something, and uh, I totally destroyed Uranus. Oh wait, why? Oh my god, why did I say that? Jesus Christ, oh god. You know, I'm gonna go contemplate my life decisions now, but first, I, I just wanna go beat Cromrax, the little headhunter real quick, basically just for the XP, of course. But in that headhunter, there was Sparky Flint. He could drop a new Torg shotgun, the Boomstick. So, you know, I farmed him for a little while and got the Boomstick. Yeah, it's it's really not that good. Well, at least for what I'm trying to do. So that was fun. And speaking of fun, uh, this next part, oh God, oh Jesus, this was not fun. I casually started on the Waddle Gobbler Headhunter to get a cool rocket launcher. But in the process, I did also get an assault rifle called the Thing. And with the Thing, I defeated the Turkey. But um. I have to do one of the toughest things yet, and that is talk to Torg's grandma. The first story was honestly a little breeze, but the raid version sucked butt. It took 15 minutes, the second time I had to do it of course, because I died while listening 12 minutes in. I am so freaking mad. But you know, at least I got this cool nuke shooting RPG called the Apocalypse, which I really just didn't use. It just sat in my back pocket. But I pushed my way through the main story. I sped so freaking fast. I met up with Lilith, then Roland, then saved his ass, then killed the invincible Wilhelm, and then I even struggled a bit at the beacon. But you know, it wasn't as bad as before because I didn't actually die. So that means it is time to upgrade my gear. And now I can properly push through the story once again. And I even got a deadly bloom from doing some side missions. So that's pretty cool, especially how that will eventually be my main shield for this like playthrough. So yeah. And with that, I then returned to the bunker thinking I was gonna struggle once again like I have been the past few times. But surprisingly, I didn't. I actually had some good gear to fight this robot thingy. I was honestly quite surprised. And with the bunker's death, I sped all the way towards the warrior. Saturn died a very sad death, so did many other people. The warrior died a very painful death, and then Jack ate shit. Yeah, uh, metaphorically speaking, of course. And with that, the base game is defeated. So on to the Scarlet DLC. And you know, I got about halfway through the storyline earlier on it. So, you know, it's time to finish it. And it was quite simple. I mean, I killed some people and some animals and then killed this like big rack hive dude, Roscoe. And then I stole Scarlet's gun. Then came the Leviathan. It was surprisingly easy of a boss fight. So, you know, I looted the hell out of the awesome loot room. Didn't get anything good, by the way. But you know, now it's time to head into the Tiny Tina DLC. This one gave me a little bit of a struggle. Most of the enemies were fine, uh, going through some of the areas weren't bad, but the bosses were kind of annoying to say the least. The Gold Golem luckily wasn't too bad, he was just tanky as frick. The Handsome Dragon wasn't too far from annoying either, but it's fine and dead and so is the Handsome Sorcerer's daughter. Yeah, she was a big spider lady. It was kind of hot to be honest. Oh, wait, oh, why did I say that? Oh, I, I don't know. Well, you know, I arrived at the Handsome Sorcerer and this was the annoying part. He had three phases. All seemed to resist explosives or were extremely tanky. It was just not even a good time. But after quite a few deaths, I finally beat the Tiny Tina DLC. Then last, but you know, certainly least, I did the Hammylock DLC. Yeah, this is my least favorite DLC, along with many other people. This was just a pretty boring DLC. I mean, I killed a few things. That's kind of cool. And then I got to the final boss, Jack and Stein. 
Yeah, I hate Jack Stein. He's literally the worst. He's like immune to everything I did. So uh, yeah, I went to go uh, upgrade my gear. And with my new gear, I then returned to Jack and Stein for another boring and gruesome and grueling and whatever you want to call it boss fight. I died a lot and I hated every single minute of it. But then Professor Nakayama died. Yeah, and the loot room, like, had diddly crap, so that was nice and really worth it. But now I have a few more things to do. The headhunters. First was the snowman headhunter, easy peasy. Then was the Halloween headhunter, easy peasy. And finally the stupid Zafford Hodunk one, whatever. I don't know, it was easy. I, I stole a baby too. So now I am ready to take on the level grind. I was honestly tired of everything else. I completed everything. And so that just means I'm ready to take on the OP levels. So I did a variety of things from side missions to killing King Mong, and then even just like destroying a bunch of rabid skags. The journey was quite simple. You know, I got to level 69, <laughs> nice, uh, level 70, upgraded my gear, got to 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, upgraded my gear again, 76, 77, 78, 79, and finally 80. And with that, I upgraded my gear to ready myself for the OP levels. God, I honestly don't think I'm ready for this, but it's fine. OP1 is the easiest out of all of them, so it should be a breeze. And it actually was. The Spitfire really carried, but you know, as I went through the peak, I realized something. And that thing I realized is that there is no way I am doing this without a little bit of help. So I got to OP1 and went to the Fight for Sanctuary DLC to get a sort of exploit. The gas glitch. By standing in the gas and getting into a car, I can basically essentially up my damage output. So with this glitch, I easily sped through the peak. OP2 and OP3 were a breeze, yet I was still scared for the future. But it's fine, because OP4 should be easy too, actually. Uh, wait. I died for the first time in the peak uh, to a damn spider tank. Yeah, did I forget to mention that these guys resist explosive? Yeah, that means it is a good time to go and farm up some better gear. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be doing this quite frequently. But with this better gear, I started another run for OP4. After killing quite a few people and not dying, I got the OP level. But while attempting OP5, I did die to some stupid ass loaders. But it's fine, I returned and ran all the way back to complete it. Yeah, it was a long run, but you know, I got it. I also forgot to mention that Assassin Oni, yeah, he's also resistant to explosives, so yeah, that's uh, also nice. But I made it through OP5, and then I got to OP6 without any problem, of course. Well, except for the binary boss. Yeah, he is uh, kind of tanky as frick. It's actually, like, annoying. But hey, now it all goes downhill from here, so yeah, god, I hate it. I hate it. Oh god, okay, actually, you know what? I'll go upgrade my gear, which didn't honestly help right away. Yeah, I, I died a lot. Yeah, once to Bonehead, then to my own rock launcher, and finally to the Black Queen. The funny part is that all of these reasons were dumb. Bonehead and the Black Queen, they're, like, actually really easy. But it's fine, it's it's cool. But hey, I got to OP7 and even passed up to OP8. You know, the binary boss, I will say, was a major pain in my butt. And when I got to Saturn, he was a huge pain as well. Honestly, more than the binary boss. But it's cool, my OP-ness is now even bigger than it was before. Yeah, I, I know what I said, and I guess I meant it. Now, for the one last time, I upgraded my gear and headed for the finish line. OP-10 was right around the corner, but first I beat OP-9 with actual ease. I'm kind of kind of surprised. It was slow as hell, but you know, that's what you expect. Oh, and I died right after. And with that, I have arrived at my final run. This took 40 minutes. Torg is honestly not the most ideal manufacturer going for the OP levels, but it's fine. I defeated Scorch after a long while. Then I destroyed Dukino's mom. I obliterated the Black Queen, assassinated the assassins. I stared at Saturn for literally 20 minutes. And then I finally defeated the binary boss. And I can finally say, 
I beat this challenge. So that is everything for this video. Uh, this was the first challenge I've actually done and it was quite fun. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I honestly don't give a flying crap. And let me know if there are like some more challenge runs you want me to attempt, especially with mods, because you know, mods are awesome. So thank you for watching and uh, yeah.